This is a Fox Carolina breaking news alert. If you take a listen right now, silence. That's because I-26 is closed. You can see it behind me. This is eastbound and westbound, not a car in sight. This is something you don't see every day, all due to that plane crash that happened last night around 8.15. Well, that's pretty much what we're seeing is these waters, they continue to rise. I mean, just look where I'm standing. I'm going to take a little walk right here on this uh, pathway very carefully. There's a lot of debris here, a lot of glass, and really just the remnants of what's left of this house. But on this patio here, it looks like this was possibly uh, their front door. And back to that breaking news we're covering this morning. Alec Murdoch guilty of killing his wife and son, and this morning he will be sentenced. So after deliberating for only three hours, the jury determined Alec Murdoch brutally murdered his son Paul and then turned the gun on his wife and shot her multiple times. The prosecutors say the verdict is an example that no one is above the law and thanked investigators for their work in that case. The judge also had a message of gratitude for those jurors. We're getting to a news alert out of North Carolina this morning. That's where there's growing concern for students and staff at UNC Chapel Hill after they went on lockdown due to alerts of an armed and dangerous person. Now, this marks the second time this has happened since the start of the semester. UNC police issued an emergency notification yesterday afternoon about an armed person. Officers were on the lookout for a suspect who was seen waving a gun at the campus bagel shop over a reported employment-related conflict. Students and staff were advised to shelter in place and go inside immediately. The good news is no shots were fired and that man was arrested. The lockdown is the second in just three weeks. If you remember back in August, a doctoral student at the school shot and killed an associate professor in the Department of Applied Physical Science. The suspect is now charged with first degree murder. Moving on to a Fox Carolina follow up, we're getting our first look at a former Greenville County deputy accused of crimes involving a minor. The South Carolina Law Enforcement Division says Sean Egan was recently taken into custody. You can see his mugshot right there on your screen. And he's accused of giving obscene material to a minor and unlawfully placing a child at risk. Warrants show the crimes happened between October of last year and March of this year. Records from the South Carolina Criminal Justice Academy show Egan worked for the Department of Public Safety from 2017 until he was hired by Greenville County in January. Also this morning, we have a very strange case coming out of Greenville County. That's where meth was sent by mail order. Randy Kennedy from Piedmont pleaded guilty in federal court to conspiracy to distribute large amounts of meth. Now, investigators say he facilitated the mailing for more than 4,000 grams of meth into South Carolina back in 2019. A U.S. District Court judge will have a sentencing at a later date, but Kennedy could face life in prison and a $10 million fine. Incredible! <laughs> How do you feel? I'm so glad <laughs> you survived. I survived. I gotta wrap things up, but for now, reporting. Come on. Oh, <laughs> Christy Wait, Fox Carolina News. <laughs> I gotta say, these chicken wings are hotter than Taylor Swift's tickets, uh, so you definitely wanna get them while you can. Are you nervous? Not at all. You know why he's not nervous? Because it's a piece of cake. <laughs> oh yeah, full of jokes this morning. Are those churros? Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have churros. <laughs> I love a good churro. They made me so excited. I'm so proud of the team and how we played just throughout the whole season. It was absolutely amazing. They, they just knew that they'd won a national championship, so pretty special. An achievement that's a big deal for this young team. We've only been competing for six seasons. In the space of six years, we've grown up from the team that barely had won, a, won game in our very first season to now going 23-1 and one and you know finish, finishing with a national championship. The Roland Tigers beat the Illinois Hawks 29-21 to 21 to capture that coveted title. The entire time, I was like, I'm having fun. 
but I'm scared if we don't win, because I'm like, what if we don't win? What if that happens? And um, I, I didn't cry, my eyes watered, but I started to. Set a pick! Right. Got to go hard, I've seen there, seen a pick for you. Our players are all um, have a lower limb disability. These kids obviously don't have the opportunity to play for their local school. They don't necessarily have the opportunity to play for their church or any other league. And so adaptive sports really gives them that opportunity to um, be a part of a team, to play a sport, have all of the great benefits of participating in a competitive sport. It's more than just a basketball team. It's family. I absolutely love my coaches. I love my team. I wouldn't trade my team for the world. A team that continues to overcome adversity on and off the court as they prepare for their next season. Just getting over the hump of most of the starters are leaving, so like everybody's having to work into getting better. What can I do next year that will make us better? And while their roster may change, the goal stays the same. Win another championship, I guess. Reporting Christy Waite, Fox Carolina News.